YouTubers, it's Shorty Mac back with another awesome video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be doing, like, uh, showing you guys how to make your own, um, like, your own first aid kit for, like, emergencies, for, like, at home. If you guys need a first aid kit, it's easy to make, or you can put it in your car, or you can take it, like, traveling with you, or camping, if whenever somebody gets hurt, you have, you have a first aid kit. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you guys click that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a video. And for the materials you'll need is a lot of materials that you probably need that you can find at your house if you have them. Or you can just go to the dollar store and buy them. So first thing you'll need like is a box. So I have this Chinese box that I got from the Asian store with all my snacks in there snacks in there so I kept the box and it has little straps on there so you can carry it so this is gonna be my where I put my first aid kit it'll be like that or you can like get like um a piece of paper and decorate the paper and write first aid kit and glue it on here or tape it on here but I'm gonna just leave it like that so that's my box and then you'll need some um in my first aid kit I'm gonna put some hauls because you need some um, hauls. You can have any kind of hauls you want. So I'm going to put this in my first aid kit box. So I'm going to open it. Make sure you have like um, a nice size box. So you can fit everything in there that you want. So you can get a small box for your car. Like make a first aid kit a smaller one for your car. And a travel size. And you can use this big one for home or a camping trip. So here it is. Roomy space. I opened it. First my hauls will go in there but i'll put in there last the next thing you'll need is like a bag of band-aids or a box of band-aids any size band-aids you can have big ones small ones medium size so i got the big size right here and then i got the small and medium ones back here in the ziploc bag or you can put like or you can buy like um a box a little band-aid box and put them in there so these were at home laying at home so I grabbed them and I just stuffed them in the Ziploc bag so I'm gonna put it in this box right here set it down oops as you guys can see set it down like that and then the next thing you'll need is these galls they're like gall uh they're bandage galls so you can wrap it around your hands or use them for your put them in your teeth if your teeth is bleeding or around your arm your hands and stuff so i have four packs of these so i'm gonna put these in here i'll put these in last the next thing you'll need is a cold ice compressed pack right here so you'll need that like a nice pack in there i'll put that in last the next things you'll need is like um ointment anti-wipes uh a pen, some sticks, some itching cream, tweezers, gloves, and some medicine and scissors. So it'll be all in this bag right here. So I'm going to put this bag into my little, my little um, kit right here. Awesome. That will be my... My first aid kit box. Then the next thing you'll need is like earplugs to put in your ears when you're going camping or if you're on the plane or if you don't like loud noise. Make sure you put some of these plugs in because they're useful and helpful. And when you're going camping, you can put it in your ears when you're sleeping so the bugs won't get in your ears or anything. Or if you don't like loud noises and stuff or when you go to like parties or on the airplane, you don't like the airplane noise or you don't like loud music, just get some of these, put it in your first aid kit, or when you're sleeping, if you don't want to hear no cars or anything, going around your neighborhoods and stuff, so buy some of these, put these in your first aid kit, and they're called earplugs. I'll put them in there. The next thing you'll need is a thermometer to check your temperature. Yep. So you need a nice thermometer. And you'll put it in there. You can buy your, you can buy all your first aid kit stuff at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollars, anywhere local, whatever store you have local that's cheaper for you to do. 
and you can go and buy like a box like if you want to buy like a fancy box for your first aid kit you can or if you just want to do it like I did it's just take an old like like a box that you can find at home and just save money on it instead of buying like a fancy box but if you want a fancy box you guys can I'll put my thermometer in there the next thing you'll need is like um chapstick so you definitely definitely need chapstick because when you're on the trip and you know your lips are dry and everything so you will need some chapstick so I have um pink lemonade chapstick right here that's never been used I got this uh Blix next medication lip ointment is for your lip so this is good too because if your lip is so dry and your skin is peeling off you can use that and I got some Carmax so I'm gonna put these three in there because they're useful the next thing I'm putting all of the other stuff in there so I got like everything compact in there so it will look there's still more stuff that I'll show you that goes in there so that's how it will look like the next thing you'll need is some Kleenex so you'll probably need like two definitely two small packs of Kleenex or three two two to three Kleenex in your first aid kit because you know when you're sick and stuff and you need a tissue you have a nice soft tissue in there so right now I'm gonna just put one Kleenex for now in there the next thing you'll need is uh some hand sanitizer so you need like a nice small size bottle so I have this little nice size pocket one and it is from from Bath and Bodies you can buy it any store you want to but this is what I had with me so I'm gonna put this in there until until I get I'll use that then the next thing you'll need some medicine like any allergy medicine like Advil Tylenol aspirin any medicine will go in here that will help small bottle size you don't want to buy you don't want to buy like too big of a bottle size because it won't f all fit in your box so I have my little um it's called Zantac it's called Zantac it's for my nose because I have allergies allergies a lot and I am allergic to sh seafood some seafood like I'm allergic to shrimp if I even eat shrimp my whole body will start being red and itchy and irritating me so I'm gonna put this in my first aid kit because I'm gonna need it because I'm going camping next two weeks I'm going camping so I'm gonna take this first aid kit with me in case anybody gets injured and stuff so I need to go buy some more band-aids because I know I'm gonna need a lot and this is oops and this is what my first aid kit looked like. And it doesn't cost you that much to make it and do it. So, if you guys like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys don't want to, like, spend, like, at least, like, a lot of money on... Some people like to spend a lot of money just buying, like, the, um... What is it? like a good special box put the first aid kit in your eight your first aid kit don't have to be special don't have to be a fancy box it could be like a shoe box you can turn your shoe box into a fancy box or you can use one of a container or something that you have lying around your house that you don't use anymore that you can put use as a first aid kit because i don't suggest you to go buy an expensive like fancy box to put your first aid kit in because you because you want it to be like a cheaper a cheaper way to make it so if you have all these in all these materials at your house you can use it if you don't just go to the store pick it up get some stuff and put it in there and that's your first aid kit you can put it under your bed you can put it you can put a small travel size in your bag or your car in case of emergency in case you're like you cut your finger in the car or paper cut or you scrape your knee or your kids have a boo-boo or something you have it right in there right there beside you so you don't have to like run to the store buy a band-aid or this and that you will be prepared for whenever 
you need your first aid kit. And you only grab your first aid kit whenever you need it. Don't grab it because you want a band-aid. And you gotta, sm like, you gotta, like, you wanna just put a band-aid on. No. This is only for emergency use. Like, if you need it, you take it out. And if you run out of stuff in your first aid kit, you just restock it and put it in there. Because I like this box that I'm using. It's because it has two straps. And I can just carry it with me. And, if, and I'll put some, like, um, latex gloves in there, too, in case, like stuff and then I got some gauze in there but I need to buy some more band-aids because I and tape band-aid tape because I need some more in there because I know I'm going camping the next two weeks so I'm probably gonna take this first aid kit with me because you might not know they you might somebody might be in danger so you can use so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this of me showing you how to like do like DIYs or like to save money and stay on budget please subscribe to my channel bye